Hi Virgo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. Virgo, let's see how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And uh, Virgo, these are general collective readings, will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers, welcome in newcomers. And uh, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, Virgo, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, this is going to be person A. And this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, page of pentacles in reverse total stagnation at the moment Virgo from what I feel now one person feels that you know this is not a soulmate or it's over or too many bad memories I'm not going to be juggled I'm dropping this connection now the other person is trapped in their mind they are scared they are angry they are very very attracted to person A I guess because that's the reason they're trapped in their mind but uh, they are not happy they are absolutely in their head, overthinking, thinking. I think this person was hoping that the connection would not end. So let's see. Let's see what uh, what's going to happen after that. I'm going to, of course, start with your dialogue message cards here, Virgo. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. And then I'll clarify these cards. Virgo and their person spirit. Virgo and their person Virgo and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Virgo and their person. Okay, let's take a few more Virgo from another deck. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Virgo and their person spirit. Virgo and their person. All right. Just a few more Virgo from a third deck as well. And then we'll start your reading. Virgo and their person spirit. Virgo and their person. Good to go Virgo. Let's start your reading. The first card here says, You just would not understand what I'm going through. Most days, I don't even understand. That's person B who's overthinking, stressed out, trapped in their head, angry, scared, everything all together. A part of me died when I let you go. You will always have a special place in my heart nobody else can fill. I'm feeling emotionally void without you. My heart was blocked. I was not available to receive your love when you gave it. I don't want to be reminded of you. Person A. Your sexy body has me drooling. I'm deeply sorry that I walked away from you. Nothing else matters but you. I can't move on from you. I want to impress you. I don't think I can handle this anymore. Person A. Why did you choose them over me? I was taught that I had to earn love by pleasing people. I want to make things right between us. I imagine the type of person you'd want to be with and that person is nothing like me. I cried all night wondering why you weren't sleeping next to me. So Virgo, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start your reading with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today as a blessing, guidance, advice or a message. You found it. 
Maybe you found the lesson in this connection. I don't know where go because I do see one person is ma- choosing themselves. They're saying, all right, I'm making that choice. So maybe one person is just realized that this is a lesson or I have to have self-worth and not be juggled. Maybe the other person is also realizing the mistakes they've made. Right. So let's see what that is. Person A, let's start with you. And uh, newcomers, I'm just picking up on two soul energies. This is not like man is here and the woman is there. No, I don't even know which side you're on, uh, Virgo. Uh, These are just two soul energies in front of me, energetically connected to each other, how they still feel, feel about each other, and what's the most likely action they may take towards each other. If this is your reading, Virgo, you'll know which side you're on. Right. So let's start and focus first only on one energy, which is for me, person A. Could be you, could be your cross watcher. So person A, in your uh, feelings, you have the six of cups in reverse. Why is that? Six of cups. Yeah, person A says, uh, any connection that makes you feel stressed out or gives you sleepless nights, or makes you feel abandoned, makes you feel left out in the cold, left behind. Well, that's not a connection I want to be in. That's not a friendship I want to be in. Well, maybe this is not a soulmate connection. Maybe this is not the connection I'm supposed to be in. Because this is how I've been made to feel in this connection. Sleepless nights, anxiety, nightmares, wondering where they are, what they're doing, who they're with and always feeling that I'm all all alone all the time, feeling uh, they don't even care, feeling in lack all the time in a relationship, right? So that's why person A feels it's time for me to, well, value myself, not get juggled, not be an option in their life and just drop this connection by myself. Two of pentacles in reverse, yeah, total ending. Person A is closing this cycle out of pain, of betrayal, of feeling, you know, left behind. Person A says, no, I'm I'm going to heal myself. I'm going to pull out all those swords because this cycle for me is over. I'm never, ever going to feel that way ever again. I'm not going to be in a third party, maybe, or juggled by my person. I need a proper, well, partnership. So why do you feel that way, person A? The tower in reverse. What's the tower in reverse? I think uh, person A found out about uh, person B's cheating behavior or maybe they felt that this was going to be a cheating scenario, I don't know. But there was some ch- something to do with cheating, lying, ghosting, something happened here. I think person A is kind of fed up with it and saying, you know, let the tower fall now. I don't even think I want to give this a second chance. I'm done with this. I'm calling judgment on the situation. I don't want to be in a connection which is full of lies. Yeah, I don't want to deal with a trickster. Somebody who's giving me false illusions. Um, maybe maybe this is a secret affair. I don't know. But person A is kind of done with this and saying, I deserve much more. I'm not going to deal with this. Yes, I don't feel respected. I feel taken for granted. I feel mm, insulted all that right I know I'll never get uh, anything stable going with person B so it's best that I call the shots now and not give this a second chance good for you person A good okay so person A tell me how do you see the other person now how do you see your person how do you see this connection now seven of cups in reverse person A says they kept me as an option they made me feel like an option so I decided I'm going to get out of this yeah and I'm doing that by not communicating with them I'm choosing myself I'm getting out of just feeling like an option in their life and that's a decision I'm making by myself listening to my higher self listening to my intuition going silent on them because uh, I know I deserve a commitment I deserve a a stability. I need commitment in my life. And in this situation, I think I'll never have. So I'm not going to waste time. I'm not going to waste more time, months, years, looking at the past and saying, why was I in this situation? I should have left before. I think person A is making a quick decision to say, I make the choice. I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to turn around and move forward and find my own two of cups. 
All right, that's good. Okay, person A, uh, what action you will finally take towards person B or otherwise, I'm going to open later. But for now, I'm going to move on to the other side and see how person B is feeling. So person B, you're in a lot of stress, I feel. Trapped in your mind, thinking, overthinking, what you're worried about. Um, person B feels the lack of hope now. They feel my wishes will never come true. Why? Yeah, because they maybe are not in a position to offer a stable beginning or they never did. They feel they've lost out on a chance to have stability with person A. Devil? What's the devil? They're scared. They're scared that uh, person A has dropped them. Yes, they are a little scared. Maybe angry, upset as well that they've been dropped now. Uh, they could be also scared that uh, things have totally stagnant, which was our overall energy for your reading, Virgo. They could also be a little worried that person A is going to heal by themselves and uh, move on. Am I right? Yeah, because I think person B really does admire person A. They see person A as the epitome of everything beautiful queen above all queens, somebody who's got their power, sits on their throne, doesn't chase. So person B is a bit scared that maybe person A is not even hurting over me anymore uh, because they seem to have their life all together. I think person B does really have a lot of admiration for person A and I think they were hoping that uh, this connection would go on. Maybe they were looking forward to communicating with person A once again. So tell me, person B, why, why are you feeling so much anxiety and why is the devil here? Person B was also, I think, very sexually attracted to this empress. So world card in reverse. Yes, now they were hoping, they were really hoping that the situation would not end. Now they're feeling very imbalanced because they feel a decision has been made. A decision, a decision has been made uh, by this empress or this person A to remove themselves. Am I right? This could also be something else. This could be that person B was hoping to come out of their stress and anxiety getting impatient to speak to this empress again maybe they do love this empress eight of wands eight of wands this person is messed up at the moment they don't know how to make things right they could be a bit depressed as well and yeah they feel that they feel that person a has cut them out completely. They feel um, here I was waiting that things would not end and you know we could still talk or they want they were waiting for communication but they, now they are kind of feeling little scattered because they feel they've been cut out and uh, they've lost the trust of person A. How do you feel about the connection now person B? How do you see person A now? Seven of Swords. What's the Seven of Swords? Seven of Swords. They... I don't know. This is something to do with a sneaky connection or a... I think this person thought they could be in control. They wanted the power or they just thought that they could maneuver a secret affair maybe. Uh, this person is now thinking, they're not happy, they are not happy, they feel none of their wishes are going to come true now. Uh, why? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. They don't have the courage. Maybe there is somebody else. Maybe they have maybe a spouse on their side. They could be worried about rumors or gossip and they feel they can't reach out to person A and they could be seeing person A moving on or cutting them out. 
they want to talk they want to clear the air definitely with person a but they feel they feel yeah it's i'm sure it's because they don't love me anymore or they I don't know this could be that this person is now feeling the void if this was a third party situation they feel they wanted to keep both in the loop but that hasn't worked out i think person a gave up they gave up and now they're realizing that this is the one they loved and they're losing out on a soulmate this person is very scattered at the moment i'm sorry to say they're very imbalanced so maybe this person thought they could have their cake and eat it too kind of a situation okay so let's see what actions you guys will take i'm going to take another deck for this one virgo and while i shuffle these cards may i request you if you could um, just tap that like button for me please virgo it helps the videos to circulate i've been told and um, well it makes me feel good to know how many of you i connect with and newcomers and repeating viewers the ones who haven't subscribed already it's free for you to do so all you have to do is tap the subscribe button become part of us and join our own kara family we welcome you in so person a let's start with you action from your end towards person b or otherwise the moon in reverse person a says no i don't want to be in any kind of hidden situation i know the truth now so then what's the action temperance nine of cups and the fool card i think person a is healed healed themselves i think they they've realized the truth of their, what they should or what they shouldn't do which connection they should be in which they shouldn't be i think person a is being very wise they are they are taking their time they are, they are healing or have healed already and uh, yes person a is trying to be happy on their own making their own dreams and wishes come true and uh, taking a risk in a brand new direction person a says well the world is open for me omkara taro i'm going to leap off that cliff and go for a new beginning elsewhere all right so person b tell me action from your end towards person a or otherwise the hanged man in reverse what's the hanged man in reverse they want to come out of a stuck situation right person b is that what you want to do the sun justice seven of cups and the three of swords they feel they kind of deserve it even though i think person b person b could also be seeing person a getting unstuck from the situation maybe energetically they are feeling that person a is in a good place they are happy right maybe they're spying on them or somebody told them that person a is really happy they're doing well and they're doing right for themselves they could be worried that uh, person a will have a lot of options now now that they are free of me they could have a lot of options that is making actually person b very heartbroken they were still hoping that they still had a chance look at this person screaming with a broken heart why because they feel that uh, person a is happy things are working out for them and uh, well they they have a lot of options or they will have a lot of options so is that it person b is that the action just to worry about what the other one is doing or will you take any action towards person a i don't think so because the overall energy is total stagnation 10 of pentacles 8 of swords and the death card yeah person b is very very stressed out either they are already in a commitment in a family situation or something they are worried that this connection is over so that's what i've got for you today virgo till next time then love and light take care namaste